okay? Those two classes of chemicals, the neurogenic chemicals are designed to attack your nervous system and shut your nervous system down, and the estrogenic chemicals do exactly to the bugs what the birth control pill does to women. They load the bugs up with estrogen, which screws up their menstrual cycles so they cannot ovulate. So because their life cycles are short, if you just wipe them out for a cycle, then the bugs all die off. You follow that? So you just keep spraying the fields and they can't reproduce. So it's just like um, men getting their testicles tied or a woman getting their tubes tied. So there's no more kids. Now, if your life cycle was only 30 days or 14 days, like a lot of the bugs, you could see the results of that really quick, right? So our children are being inundated with neurological and biological warfare chemicals in the name and under the disguise of plant chemicals that are supposed to protect you and your crops, which is absolute hogwash, okay? Now, what the argument is that the doctors give us and the government gives us, oh, that the doses are so small that it doesn't matter. That's garbage too, okay? Here's the deal, and there's good research showing this. First of all, the doses that you're being given are based on some very, very false assumptions. So when they say, oh, lindane is safe in two parts per million, well, what happens when you're eating oranges or strawberries that have lindane, and then you're eating uh, apples with another chemical, and then you're eating strawberries with another chemical, and you're eating carrots with another chemical, you see what happens? And then they never tell you what happens when you put them in the oven together. And there's research showing that when you cook these foods and combine them and the chemicals get together in the oven, it actually recreates new chemicals that have never been seen before. So your immune system doesn't even recognize them. Hey, that's a problem. So you're eating all these foods and you're actually creating your own biological warfare set in your kitchen, except you're the test guinea pig. How cool, eh? And your kids are eating most of this stuff, right? So we are bringing these chemicals in and we're combining them and then it's even better. They found in Europe quite by accident some scientists were up doing an investigation in a lake looking for a certain chemical and they kept finding all these medical drugs and they kept finding this one chemical in huge amounts and it was a statin they went back to the laboratory and analyzed it. it was a it was a statin drug it was a cholesterol lowering drug and they thought where in the hell this lake is just swimming in cholesterol lowering drugs what they found out is when a person eats a drug and urinates and defecates it out, it's in what's called an inactive form. The biology of the body deactivates the molecule. They found that in lakes all over the world are bacteria that take that into their body and reactivate it. No one had ever known this before, and this research has been kept quiet. They found when they started analyzing this lake that this lake in Europe, way up in the mountains, all these people in this area were all taking statin drugs, which are popular everywhere. They sell billions of dollars in the year. And they found that every single drug that the people around, they started surveying the people. They found all the drugs that people around the lake were, that were living there in the water in massive quantities because the bacteria was reconverting it. So guess what was happening to all the fish and all the wildlife? They are ODing on all these drugs. So now what do we have? We got research reports coming from all over the world about fish with all sorts of genetic malformations, two heads, no tail, one fin. We've got an epidemic in the Everglades in Florida with the crocodiles, the male crocodiles are being born with tiny penises and they can't impregnate the females. They can't get them pregnant. These are things that you don't ever hear about. Why? because you're too busy watching George Bush's bullshit story about friggin' terrorists, which is a crock of shit, I hate to be so honest. The biggest terrorist in the world is sitting in the White House. Okay? And that's part of your nutrition lecture. And I can debate that one for a long time, be careful. So here's, here's my, here's, here's, here's internal terrorism right here. 
your animals, your cows, your pigs. The United States Department of Agriculture has approved the feeding of ground plastic, cement powder, sawdust, sewage and industrial waste, dead animal remains. This is legal. This is what you, you go to the store and buy a roaster chicken or you buy a filet mignon or a porterhouse steak. That's what those animals are eating. And let me tell you a little something special. <laughs> All animals store toxins that their liver cannot metabolize in the fat of the animal. And isn't it interesting that the best cuts of meat in any restaurant have the most fat in them. And when you're eating animals that are not free range organic animals and you're paying top dollar, guess what you're getting? You're getting all the chemicals that are trapped in the fat of that animal. And I'll tell you how I knew this was true. The first thing that happened to me as a therapist that hit me right over the head. I was putting people on very comprehensive antifungal diets, which are strict diets. If you've ever been on an antifungal diet, and some of my patients were very serious athletes that followed my advice to the T, and I've got a lie detector from hell in me, okay? You, even a world-class liar, George Bush is a world-class liar, and he fails every test. You know how you can tell George is lying? His lips move, okay? So, I had patients coming back to me and after being on these diets for weeks and weeks on end, were not having a reduction in their symptoms. I thought, something's wrong here. So sure enough, I started looking into the meat they were eating. I started looking into, and I found out, for example, that in our food industry, here's what they do. Any of the grain-based products, like your cereals, all your grains, if the level of mycotoxins in them, because they've got fungal infections, you see, if a plant starts to die, then the parasitic funguses actually eat the plant the plant itself will get eaten by the fungus because the funguses are decomposers. They're mother nature's police force. If something doesn't have enough vitality, then the parasites and funguses decompose it and put it back into the soil. So our grain industry has such a high amount of fungal mycotoxins in the grain from commercial farming that they cannot sell a huge amount of it for human consumption. It gets turned away by government inspectors, okay? They say the mycotoxin levels are too high, but those foods are fed to animals. Nobody gives a damn. They say, oh, that's, you can use that on a feedlot. So they take, and guess what else they do with that? They give it away to third world countries, to starving children. Isn't that nice? And isn't it interesting, if you do your research, you'll find that anytime any other country offers up grains, beside the United States, they'll always turn away United States' grains because the kids get sick on it. There's no nutrition in it, okay? So what I found out was that there was so much poison in the meat that anybody on an antifungal diet that's eating commercial meats can't get rid of the fungal infections. I had to start putting my athletes and my patients on organic free range meats and then boom, their fungal infections cleared up. Also, here's another trick that the meat packing industry does. Most people don't know this. Two things you need to know. One, they put sugar in meat all the time. Now you tell me, why the hell do you need sugar in a steak? Why do you need sugar in your bacon? I'll tell you why, for the same reason they put sugar in cigarettes. Did you know that? Ah, 8% of the average cigarette is sugar. Why? It's a class one drug. Most people don't know that either, but refined sugar is a class one drug, equally destructive as morphine, heroin. It's right up there with the hardest drugs in the world.